in this screencast, we, we'd like to find out how to create a square and then store our square uh, in the custom tool option on your computer. So over here. So that's our final product. We want to be able to create squares like that. So let's see how it's done. First of all, start by drawing uh, the first side of the square. There it is. Uh, next, we want to create a line that's perpendicular to that line through that point. So construct perpendicular line. Next, let's create the second side of the triangle. It's a triangle of the square by highlighting the side itself, including both uh, endpoints, and then uh, transform and rotate. So it'll rotate it about that point that just flashed by 90 degrees, and that's where it will end up. So now we've got two sides. Uh, to, in order to get the third side, again, highlight the side, the point that we want the perpendicular through, and construct the perpendicular line. And now we just need to tell Geometer Sketchpad to find to define the intersection of those two perpendicular lines that we've drawn. So highlight both of them, construct intersection, and the point is drawn. There's our square, but we've got some unnecessary lines out here. So let's highlight both of them and change the display so we can't see them. So display hide objects. I've done it again. Control Z. The reason this point disappeared as well is because it was also highlighted. So let's just highlight the two lines and not highlight the point. So when we choose display and hide perpendicular lines, the point will stay. So now if we join up that vertex with the other ones, we've now got our square, which is what we wanted. And you can see as you move it around, it will maintain the properties of a square. Now, just, um, just so that it looks a little bit better, let's select all four vertices and have the interior of it shaded. So choose Construct and Quadrilateral Interior, and now we can see the inside of it coloured. And if we'd like to change that colour, we can um, go to Display and Colour, and I think the starting off line might have been this colour. And there it is. Now, if you'd like to save that so that you can do that in future, what you need to do is to highlight every aspect of what you've just created. So let's uh, highlight all four vertices and all four uh, sides and the interior as well. And then over in the custom tool, you should now have the option of create new tool. So let's give that the name of square by side length and choosing the script show script view will just record how it is that you created it but there's no real need for that and okay now if we save our file uh, and this is important if you you now need to save this file so that next time you come into geometry sketchpad if you open up this particular file then in the custom tools you should have your own um, little custom tool here so that if you want to create one in the future you just need to go like that and it comes up automatically. It saves you a lot of time.